frightful First World War. The British Army had help from all kinds of countries in the First World War, so you could have been in for quite a surprise when you arrived in the British trenches. Private Tommy Jaws reporting for duty, sir. Proud to be part of the British Army, sir. Pardon, Monsieur. Uh, nous sommes le bataillon canadien. Well, oh, am I in the French Army trench? No, Monsieur. Uh, we are Canadian soldiers. Part of the British forces here to fight the Germans. Oh, uh, where can I find the British regiment? Uh, that way, my chum. Okay, thank you. Bit weird, but cheers. Private Tommy Jaws reporting for duty, sir. Proud to be part of the British Army, sir. And he's your limey shark biscuit. If you're looking for the other pommy cobbers, you need to go up there and dip your lid to the bludger with the stripes. Where are the British? Forces! Now just hang on a tick, mate. We are part of the British forces, you cheeky larrikin. Your lot are up there. All right, thank you. Private Tommy Jaws reporting for duty, sir. Um, uh... I'm guessing you're not looking for the South African division, my friend. No, no, I'm not. Do you know where the British part of the British forces are? Ah, uh, right, yeah. You want to head down here? Do a left at the West Indians, then a right at the Gurkhas, and then head straight through the Indian division and stop just before you get to the New Zealanders. All right? Uh, God save the king! Yeah, whatever. Excuse me. Yep. Is this the part of the British forces with the actual British in? That's right. Oh, thank goodness for that. I've spent the last hour looking for you lot. Turns out half the British forces from other countries. I couldn't understand a word they were saying. Well, don't worry, you're here now. Only in, collect your bump, your flea bag and your daisies from the Devil Dodger. Watch out for chats and canuts, and you should be able to avoid getting chin strapped or sent to the rest camp with a meat ticket because you're a landowner. Do you know what? I think I might go back to that French lot. Au revoir. That's right. In World War I, soldiers from Canada, Australia, South Africa, India and other countries fought for Britain in France thousands of miles away from their homes and families, alongside troops from England, Wales, Ireland and Scotland. <laughs>